Welcome to One Block Sky Block, where you spawn into the sky on a singular block. Breaking the block gives you items to help advance through the game. However, it also might spawn in an unfortunate surprise. Now let's see what this mysterious block has in store for us. So, I guess there's nothing left to do except start breaking this block. So far, all we've gotten is a little bit of dirt and some wood. Ooh, a chest. <gasps> a sapling, which means we already have access to a consistent supply of wood. And we've also got a free chest out of this. Okay, so I guess we should start making this platform a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna put dirt on either side of the block. Then I'm gonna make a crafting table really quickly. Place that here. And I'm gonna make a bunch of slabs to conserve our wood. And now I can start expanding out a little bit further. There, that feels a lot better already. All right, back to breaking blocks. Oh, oh, hello. It seems like I have a new friend here. I'm gonna call you Richard. You look like a Richard to me. I don't know why. Although I always welcome new company, it's starting to feel a little bit tight on this island again. So I'm gonna expand it a little bit more. Better safe than sorry is what I always say. All right, it seems like Richard really likes this mysterious block, but sorry, buddy, I'm gonna have to move you for a second. Oh, blocks like gravel fall down. There goes another one. Place a block under the infinite block. This item may help with that. Oh no, 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 no. I know exactly where this is going and I don't like it. I don't wanna do it, I'm scared. Oh, Richard, do you wanna do it? No? Okay, all right, all right, it's gotta be me, it's gotta be me. Okay, so let's break this block right here. Place the water down like this and here goes nothing. Oh, this is so sketchy, this is so sketchy. All right, gonna place a block here right here and come back up. We'll grab our water again. And to contain this a little bit better, I'm just gonna surround it like this on every side. There, that should be good. Perfect, the gravel went into our inventory. So now any block affected by gravity will no longer fall into the void. Easy peasy. Ah, ready for an adventure? Uh, I don't know, are you? Let's see what's in store. Ha. Oh, 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 what is that? Ooh, a gift. We've got ourselves a torch, nice. So now when night falls, we don't have to worry about mobs spawning on this platform. I'm gonna put that right here for now. And while we're at it, I'm gonna start putting some chests down so we can put away some of our items. All right, back to breaking. Ooh, we're getting an upgrade. We've upgraded to the plains biome. Awesome, so with the plains biome, I'm assuming obviously we're gonna be getting a lot of flowers, trees, and probably some animals as well. So let's see what we get. Oh, <gasps> melon. All right, we could break this melon down into seeds so we can end up growing more full watermelons. But before we do that, I need to make some more space for me and my boy, Richard. There, now we have a lot more space to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant my saplings as well so we can get them growing. And I'm gonna expand a little bit further this way to make space for a small farm. Speaking of which, I need a little bit of wood so I can make some tools. Oh. Oh, Richard, you have a friend, other Richard. I'm sorry, I don't know what to call you. I'm not too good with names. Please promise me one thing though. You won't forget about me when you two become best friends. Thanks. All right, this is just enough so we can get our seeds planted. So we'll drop the water right here. We'll till the land around here and that should be enough space for the melons to grow. Whoa, hey my dude, what's going on? So nice to meet you. You are very important. We are gonna have to keep you very, very safe. But for now, I don't really have a place to put you, so let's just shift you over right here so I can keep breaking my blocks. <gasps> Ooh, a chest. Perfect, we got the seeds that we need so we can later breed our animals. So I'm gonna expand this farm out a little bit further and place these seeds right here. We've also got ourselves a birch sapling, which I can place here and get growing. Whoa, a sheep, nice. Welcome on in. How you doing, buddy? It's so nice to have friends. Oh, chickens, two of them too. And you're kind of overlapping. This is slightly terrifying. I'm gonna be honest though, this is becoming a little bit chaotic. A little bit chaotic because we don't have enough space or enough materials to make pens for them yet. So I guess we're just we're just all here for now. If these start growing soon, then we'll be set. But for now, I'm not doing so great with these couple of logs and planks. Richard, other Richard, please welcome other other Richard to the group. I have quite a large audience now. This is becoming a little bit stressful. Ah! Okay, this is just ridiculous now. There's too many Richards here, too many. How am I supposed to tell you all apart, huh? Nope, I don't feel any pressure whatsoever with all of you looming over me. Nope, none at all. <gasps> a second cow. 
Okay, we need to make sure these guys stay alive because they are crucial to our progression in this game. Now we just need to find you a friend. I'm gonna make some tools out of this birch so I can mine this block faster. Hopefully we can gather some oak so we can make a bigger expansion on this platform soon. So the good news is I've gotten enough oak for a bunch of slabs. The bad news is this place now legitimately looks like a barn. But in the process of gathering these materials, we also reached a second phase called the underground, meaning we now have access to stone, coal, and iron, and probably mobs as well. Before we expand out our platform, I think I'm gonna try my luck with getting some coal for a few more torches so mobs don't spawn during our expansion. Wait a second, why is there beef and leather in my inventory? Oh no. Buy the cow out of every animal. Why? That's the most important one. How did this happen? Well, I sure did a terrible job keeping that cow safe. Okay, we're not gonna have another tragedy. Not on my watch. So let's quickly expand this platform a bit and let's throw down some fencing. No, 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 no. So much for not letting another tragedy happen. Oh my gosh, it's the saplings when they grow. No, no, get off, get off, get, get. I'm not letting this happen again. Although these saplings are so important for our wood supply, they are also very deadly to our animals. Thankfully, we have a little piece of wheat though. So you know what? I'm not even gonna risk it. I'm gonna grab these sheep and this cow and you're all gonna come with me. Please, please, one at a time, one at a time. Yep, that was a little bit of a risky maneuver there, but I'll take it. Oh, you too? There we go, there we go. Safe and sound. Okay, I'm gonna move some stuff away from the infinite block to make some more space around it. And I put this fencing around the tree so animals can't go near them, but it's still too close to the block. So I think it's time for an expansion. I mean, it's starting to get pretty dark on this island now that it's a lot bigger, but at least we have much more space to work with. All right, let's put some fencing around this block and that way if mobs spawn, they'll be contained. And now that we're in the cave phase, I guess it's finally time for us to make a pickaxe. All right, let's get our first bit of stone. <gasps> Coal! Finally! We're gonna go ahead and make some torches right away so we can light up our base. We'll place one here, over in this corner, and of course, over here. And maybe here. Alright, we've got some adequate lighting and I can go back to breaking blocks. <gasps> Iron! Okay, we're gonna have to make a stone pick for this. Yoink! And I guess now that means we should make our first furnace too. Boop! And we'll get this iron smelting. Mushroom cow! Yo! Can I breed you with the regular cow? Is that possible? Well, there's only one way to find out. No! No! What? Oh my gosh, these chickens! There's only two left! It's the melons too! I didn't know that crops and trees would be such a big issue. Oh my gosh. <sighs> All right, lessons learned, lessons learned. All right, let's try to sort out this issue. Here goes nothing. Hello? Yes? No? Well, it was worth a shot. Some plains blocks are still appearing, so who knows? Maybe another cow will show up. <gasps> another mushroom cow! We're not taking any risks here. Into the pen you go. Aw, too bad you're stuck in there. Looks like you can't get me. Ow! See ya. I think I held my own there quite nicely. Ooh, some of my trees are ready to be chopped. We'll just sneak over this way. And that way, none of the animals can get through here. <laughs> now that I have a bit more wood to expand, I think my next task is to get a proper home for all of the Richards and the chickens. We'll grab this carrot. All right, my dudes, it's time to go to your new home. There you go. Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. He just did a 360. All of the Richards are here accounted for. You're all good. You're all safe. Great. Bye. All right, you two, you're next. Come on, just this way. Amazing. I hope you enjoy your new home. Honestly, I have so many eggs laying around, so I might as well like, I don't know, just toss a couple in here and see if I get some chickens. Amazing, you're all adorable. So the shape of the island is kind of all over the place right now, but I'm also kind of digging it if I'm honest. I like how it's taking on a little bit more of an organic shape. Everything is now cleaned up and organized on this island and it's feeling a lot better. So now I can go back to the simple task of block breaking. I don't know why, but this is actually very enjoyable. It's the same thing over and over, but you never know what you're gonna get. It feels like I've outsmarted the mobs with this whole fence thing, and I love it. Smell you later. So I've got enough for an iron pick, but I'm not sure I really need one yet. I think I'm gonna keep it aside for now. Bunnies, cool. Oh, I don't know where to put them though. 
No, no, you're already gone. What? Oh, they're so quick. What, 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 what do I do with you? What do you like? Do you like seeds? No? All right, I guess you can just roam around for now because I honestly don't know what to do with you. I'm sorry. Just when I thought I had the whole animal situation sorted, the game threw me a curveball and I wasn't ready for it. Whoa. Oh. More bunnies? No, <laughs> there's so many. What am I gonna do? What do we even do with all these bunnies? Ugh, just come along, yep. All right, you two. Roam free, my friends. Roam free. They're chilling, it's fine. Oh, well, that was a spooky noise. What is this green stuff all around it? Variety chest, ooh. Okay, not bad, not bad. Ah! Get out of here, go. The sun's setting. There haven't been any mobs in a while. Peace at last. Oh, no, 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 no! That was so close. I really let my guard down. All right, creeper friend. Just gonna give you a couple taps. And there, and there, and one more for good measure. There we go. Narrowly avoided catastrophe. Honestly, with the whole creeper situation, it's got me thinking that maybe I should change the surrounding area around the block to cobble. I think the cobble has a better chance of surviving than the wood if a creeper decides to go boom. You know what? Can I make a stone cutter here? Cause that would save us quite a bit of cobble if we can. <gasps> there we go. Perfect. Amazing. Making this cobble into slabs is gonna save us a ton in the long run. So let's get this all replaced. Now that we've got our cobble platform, let's go with some stone walls around the edges and some gates in between. Hopefully the cobble will help in any unfortunate event with a creeper, and I just think this looks cooler. Oh, oh, too slow. Just gonna, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was so close. Just gonna give you a boop, boop, goodbye. Although I'm interested to see what happens if a creeper does explode, I'm not risking it. <gasps> Some of our crops have grown. Unfortunately, we don't have any more water buckets yet, but I can still expand a little bit further outside of this water source. This farm is such a jumbled mess right now. We've got melons here, some seeds over here, a random potato, a carrot. You know it's bad when my chests are actually more organized than this. All right, we finally did get a little bit of wheat out of that, and we were able to plant double the amounts of carrots and potatoes. So we'll just stash this all in the food chest for now. I don't think I'm gonna bother breeding any of these animals just yet, mainly because I eventually want to get the sheep and the cows separated. It might be a little bit of a pain, but honestly, it'll make our lives easier in the long run. But also, that's a future me problem. For now, I'm going to go over here and harvest up some of this wood. A lot of it has finally grown, and that means if we chop all these trees, then we'll have more slabs to expand with. So I think I need to take any chance I can at chopping wood. This is an absolute mess, but at least we're getting trees out of it. And we're starting to already build up a supply of wood, which is great. So if you ask me, I think we've made some really good progress in these first few stages. We had a few slight hiccups along the way, but nothing we couldn't manage. And we've got a pretty decent supply of our basic survival items building up. You know, I thought living in the sky would be a little bit frightening, but it's all turned out okay so far. We definitely have a good view from here, that's for sure. Welcome back to One Block Sky Block. We're here on our little island in the sky and things are going great so far. And you know what? I've noticed something. It's been at least a day since we've had an animal incident around here. That's definitely worth celebrating, considering what happened in the last episode. But hey, I've learned from it and I am now taking the safety of this island very seriously. And to show how serious I am, I think I'll make us a board that will hold us accountable to keeping everyone here safe. So this sign's gonna say days since last incident, and so far we've had one. Hey, it's gotta start somewhere, okay? But don't you worry, my friends. I promise you are in good hands. You wouldn't doubt me, right, Richard? That's what I thought. So we've got quite a bit ahead of us today. This place do be looking a little bit like a farm right now, and I would like to work on making this place look a little bit nicer while advancing through the next few phases. But in order to do that, we need some resources that will allow us to expand a bit. So I'm gonna keep on chopping up this wood. Don't forget to replant your saplings. After all that chopping, I need a quick little snack. Hey, don't give me that judging look. We can't let food go to waste. So with all of this oak, we should now have enough slabs for a decent sized expansion. So originally I wanted a more organic shape for our island, but upon expanding, I think I wanna make circle islands because they'll look more clean. Easy peasy, right? Wrong, actually so wrong. 
So, I may have misplaced some blocks, which is throwing off the shape of the circle. And now I have to break these precious slabs while watching some of them fall right into the abyss. Yep, this is fine. On a brighter note, we did make it another day without a fatal incident, so that's great. Okay, I'm gonna try using birch for the trim of this island so I can actually see the pattern I'm following. Plus, a different block around the edge will look cool. And there we go, that's looking a lot more clean. The stuff on the island, however, yeah, this is still a little bit of a hot mess. As much as I'm itching to break this beautiful, mysterious block, we need to start building out other circles from this central hub. That way, all of our farms and stuff are a little bit more contained and separated. All right, this circle's done, and I think we're gonna put the tree farm here. And I think it would look kinda cool if we place some slabs along the edge, and then place the dirt on the block above that. No, I thought I had enough dirt for this. Yoink, and yoink. Hey, you shouldn't be here. Sorry, my guy. No zombies allowed. <laughs> oh, it looks like I've made a mob spawning platform. Yep, 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 <laughs> I totally did. Hey, buddy, come over here. Just gonna boop, bop, and we are fine. No, we're not, no, we're not. No! <laughs> no! It's okay, it's okay, he didn't wreck that much. It's fine. Well, I guess that's a sign that I should place a couple more torches. Unfortunately, this is not gonna be enough dirt to finish this circle, but hey, you can't win them all. And let's throw down a couple of these guys. Oh, and one already grew. That is the fastest growing tree I think I've ever seen. And guess what? We've made it yet another day without an incident. Look at that, we're doing so well. All right, now let's get a proper spot made for our crops. And to switch it up a bit, we'll build a little bit of a staircase leading up to this spot. Jeez, another day passed, another reminder of how safe it is on this island. Four days, and not a single incident. Zero days. No incident so far. At least I got a cool little recovery kit when I spawned back in. Hey, don't judge me. I see you looking. I see you looking. That could have happened to anybody, okay? Yeesh, the attitude. All right, let's start breaking up our crops and moving them to their new spot. No, 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 no. What? I thought that was enough light. No, 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 nope. Ah, ah. Oh, they fell off, you fell off. Here, let me give you a hand there, bud. Bye. I'm really not doing the greatest job of spawn proof in this area. All right, let's finally get these crops put in. All right, the farm's not quite done yet because we ran out of dirt, but this designated little area is looking a lot better than where it was before. Now the animals are gonna take quite a bit of work, so we're gonna leave them where they are for now. And I think it's finally time for us to start breaking into this block again. We're beginning to run low on some basic materials, so hopefully this block will help us out with that. Buddy, 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 buddy. I don't know if it's a good idea for you to be in here. The exit's that way. Come on, go. Perfect, there you go. Nice and safe now. Back to block breaking. More bunnies! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to make a bunny sanctuary somewhere, honestly. Just go along, go along. Come on, here you go. Letting you all out. You have many options. Take your pick. I have been given so many rabbits, I don't know what to do with them. I honestly think some might be falling off the edges because I've seen a decrease in population lately and I can't explain it any other way. All right, let's get through this cave phase. Nice hat you got there, bud. Ooh, another chest. Oh, <gasps> finally, we have spruce. This is quite literally the best gift we have gotten so far. We do have some more dirt, so let's try and complete this circle as much as we can. And let's put our most prized possession right here. We love you, little guy. I'm just not sure we're gonna get anything that tops this spruce sapling at this point. All right, let's keep breaking this block and try to get to the next phase. Yes, more spruce saplings, let's go. All right, it looks like we made it out of the cave face and onto the next one. Let's see what it is. 
the icy tundra. Huh. I'm picturing some snow, some bunnies, maybe some snowmen. Sounds pretty magical if you ask me. But before we continue on, let me plant these saplings so we can get a giant spruce tree. Okay, there's some stuff going on in here. You, get away from... No, 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 no. Ah, ooh, ah, ah, I might die. I might die. Okay, the skeleton may have fallen off. I don't know where he went. One less thing to deal with. You... Creeper, I see you in my crops. Hey, I'll admit that's the perfect hiding spot, but please, please, no, don't, don't ruin my stuff. Don't ruin my stuff. Boop, boop. Okay, one more, one more. Goodbye. Okay, enough of this madness with these mobs spawning at night. Let's try our luck and see if we can get three wool from these two sheep. <gasps> yes! <sighs> finally. No more mobs and a chance to finally sleep. I may not have a house to sleep in yet, but at least I finally got some good rest. Let's see what the icy tundra has in store for us. Ah! <gasps> a wolf! We can finally get a dog! Wait, 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 no! No, 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 no! 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 No, not the bunnies! Not the bunnies! Come on, dude. That wasn't cool. I think it's safe to say this board is a lost cause at this point. All right. We don't have a bone to tame this guy yet, so let's put him in a little pen for now. In you go, my guy. There we go. And you know we gotta put a little roof over his head. And let's name you Stinky. Okay, no more distractions. We have to break this block. Ah! Oh, what is that? What is that? I've never seen that in my life. And they're fighting each other. Huh, free entertainment. Oh, and his sights are on me now. Oh no. Well, so much for the tundra being a winter wonderland. I think it would probably be best if I use some of my iron for a shield. And while we're at it, let's get a pick because I'm sure we'll be getting some different ores soon that will require it. Much better. All right, you mysterious block. Bring it on. Oh, you're trying to get me with that bow? Nice try. You can't get me. Jeez, I'm so smart. I'm not trying to brag, but I think we've got a handle on this now. <gasps> Boxes. Hey, you've got my block, buddy. All right, what do we do with you guys? I feel like... Oh, yep, you just want to go. You just want to be free. Here, you be free too. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go near my chickens. Don't go near my chickens. No, no, buddy. Why did you do that? My chickens. No, no, stop. Stop it. You, my friend, you're bad. You're mean. That was not nice. You're staying in here with the Richards for now so they can keep an eye on you. Because that was not cool. Okay, guess I need a new chicken pen. We'll toss some eggs in here. Hello, my new little friends. And you? Don't even think about it. I see you staring. Don't even think about it. Okay, this incident board is just embarrassing at this point. New idea, recipe board. There, now we have some delicious recipes at our disposal. And I no longer have to suffer from embarrassment. It's a win-win. All right, let's try to get through this phase without any more catastrophes. <gasps> we got more bones. And we actually do have another wolf, but I forgot to hit record when I got him. I'm sorry. But we've got Stinky over here and not Stinky. The irony of the situation is Stinky actually smells better than this guy does. All right, can we like tame one of these guys? Let's give it a shot. No! <sighs> I'll just go back to my block. Whoa! Whoa! Literally, what am I supposed to do with a polar bear? This polar bear is strictly forbidden from being near the other animals. It cannot be trusted. All right, just follow this path. There we go. Nice. I mean, except for the fact that this place has turned into a zoo again. And my bed is next to a polar bear. Honestly, I'm just assuming the worst with this block at this point. Oh, yep. Here we go. Monster party. What even is that? Oh, what? What is happening? <laughs> is there a pool now? Well, that was just bizarre, but honestly, unsurprising at this point. Since this thing got kind of busted, we might as well take the opportunity to do a little aesthetic upgrade to it. Hey, that's looking a lot nicer now. Honestly, since we're already at it, why don't we grab some more spruce and some leaves and fix up the outer edge of the circle? If you ignore all the chaos going on in the middle here, this place is looking a lot nicer. Plus, the fencing is an added safety bonus. All right, how about we finish this phase off once and for all? Oh great, another little demon spawned. Don't get yourself into trouble out there, okay? You be nice. Oh! Oh my gosh! How did that happen? 
in! What? You, out. Now, get out of here. I'm so sorry, chicken. What? No! No! Jeez, these things are relentless. No, 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 no! No! My last chicken. That was very mean. I have two chicken eggs left. Let's see if I'm lucky with them. Oh! Now you go on and think about what you did. Ah, oh, jeez. <gasps> Blue ice! Will this one melt into water? Well, only one way to find out. Eh? Eh? Maybe not. It was worth a shot. Oh, I think this is the last chest of this phase. Oh, we've got the regular ice! Okay, this one should work. This should give us water. Goodbye. Come on. Eh, maybe if I give it some space, it'll melt. We got some bones in this chest, so maybe we can finally tame our wolves. All right, this time it's gonna work. I have a good feeling. All right, Stinky. <gasps> yes! Finally, we got Stinky! What about you? Eh? Yo, not Stinky, let's go! All right, Paul, it's your turn. Yes! Stinky, not Stinky, and Paul. All right, I think we're finally good to open this up. I've got my buddies. And my Richards, obviously, of course. Can't forget about them. So if we break this chest, I'm pretty sure we move on to the next phase. Let's go. Honestly, after the whole debacle for this one, I'm nervous for what comes next. The ocean. Strange creatures lurk in the endless deep water. Well, that doesn't sound good. Despite all the chaos, I would say our island has come a really long way. And although the ocean sounds a little bit ominous and terrifying, I'm still excited to see what comes next. Welcome back to One Block Skyblock. Things have started to get pretty wild on this little island of ours, both because we have a ridiculous amount of animals with nowhere to put them, and because this block is becoming more and more unpredictable every day. Today, we're gonna be advancing through the ocean phase while upgrading our base. And speaking of water, that ice we had gotten from the tundra actually melted so we can finally make an infinite water source. So I'm just gonna yoink this, and we'll just get rid of these two, get rid of this dirt, Drop this water in, and would you look at that? We finally have an infinite water source. So after all the shenanigans from the tundra, I'm feeling a little bit nervous about this ocean phase. I'm starting to suspect there's going to be a lot more chaos from this thing going forward. I think at this point it would be wise to expand our island a little bit more so we can move some animals away from this thing. We've already had far too many casualties than I'd like to admit, so let's get them somewhere more safe and permanent. There is absolutely no shame in erring on the side of caution. That's what I always say. All right, this should be enough slabs to get us started on a sizable expansion for our farm area. And let's branch off from here. Now I wish we could continue doing a granite trim like we have around this island, but we don't have enough. So spruce will have to do for now. There, the shape is done and now all we have to do is fill the rest in with oak. And let's just replace some of this oak with spruce to get rid of this hard edge and make the circular shape look, well, more circular. And finally for this area, I want a bit of a different edge design than what we have for the other island. But we also have to make sure that it's at least two blocks high for the animals so they don't jump up and fall off the island. Please, no more tragedies. Last but not least, let's get a gate at the entrance to really make this place as safe as possible. I think that's looking pretty good. Now all that's left to do is get the animal pens organized. So we'll start by building something in the middle here and then having all the animals sectioned off outside the structure. There, a little compact barn to access the pens. I think that looks pretty cute. Uh, what? You have got to be kidding me. I just can't seem to escape you, can I? Sir? No, sir? This is a private island. Do you have a permit to be trading here? You don't? Oh, well then. That's so strange. I left to go grab him a permit, but I guess he must have despawned. Oh well. All right, let's finish off this farm area by putting down some fencing to separate the animals. There, and now all we have to do is get them safely moved over. Honestly, how hard could it be? Let's start with the Richards. All right, my dudes, you ready to go to your new and improved home? Yeah, let's go. I probably should have gone the other way. This was a little bit of a, a wraparound, but that's okay, that's okay. Just come through here, come through here. And 
And let's put you in here. Richard, no. There we go. Look at that. You've got tons of space now. And because you guys are so lovely, I'm going to give you all some carrots. Aw, I love you too. Mwah. All right, let's get the rest of the animals over here. Now, I think it's going to be pretty hard to separate the cows and the sheep. So, you know what? They, they can all live amongst each other. It's fine. You, you clearly ate a rabbit. I can see it in your mouth. You know what? You can stay here for now. As long as you promise not to cause trouble. Which it probably will. So, that's pretty much all the animals. Which means I can get rid of this fencing now. And as for the polar bear over here. Well, I honestly don't know what to do with it. I have more fears of it being up there with the other animals. Than I do with it being down here. So, you know what? He can watch over me while I pick away at this block. In case anything bad happens. Happens. You would help me, right, buddy? Yeah. There, now we have so much space in this area, and all the animals finally have a proper home. Which means there's only one thing left to do. It's just a bit of sand and water. How bad could it be? See? Nothing to be afraid of. <gasps> Ooh! We get Prismarine. Yes. All right, this isn't so bad. I may have gotten a little bit of sand in my shoes, but that's no sweat. <gasps> a turtle. I kind of forgot about the fact that we would be getting some marine life too. Uh, maybe we should make like a little pond for all these things to chill in. How does that sound, Mr. Turtle? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to move our little doghouse here for now because I think I want the pond going out this way. Come on, come on. Get over this way. That's close enough. There you go. And now we just need a temporary river that will guide the animals into a pond. This pond might be a little bit awkward to fill, but hey, I think this will do. I even started a little sandy patch for the turtle to chill on. This water flow is a little bit wonky, so let's fix this up real quick. So let's get the water flowing from up here. And then we'll place them here so it flows down into the pond with some gates here to prevent it from flowing backwards. Hopefully something like this works. Okay, little turtle guy, I think you're gonna go for a ride. You ready? All right, let's get you, let's get you going this way. No, 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 what? How are you up there? Can I just like give you a little bop? There you go. Go into the water. There you go, buddy. There you go. Yes. And you're swimming. So since we're in the ocean phase, we're gonna leave this set up for now so we can funnel all of our marine animals into this pond. That was actually quite a good idea. Commence block breaking. <gasps> diamond. Oh, diamond. And into a chest that goes so I don't lose it. Ah! A squid! No! No! Go this way! Go this way! Please! Go! Go! Come on! Come on! No! 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 <laughs> no! No! Oh, no! You saw everything, didn't you? Okay. You know what? I'm keeping water on me at all times now. Ooh, a chest! <gasps> turtle egg! Turtle the turtle, here is your new friend. Other turtle the turtle. Oh, wait. It's just an egg. Well, maybe it'll hatch. Oh, he's just floating down to the turtles. No. I think having a sword would be a good idea at this point. And maybe a shield. Yeah, that's better. Oh, fish. Got him. See, I can save the animals. All right, let's bring you over here with the turtle buddy. Into the pond you go. <gasps> More fish. No, 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 I don't have the water on me. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Stop. Stop judging me, please. Yeesh, the amount of sass I've been getting from everybody on this island. Oh, oh no, no way. Oh, no, 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 no. How do I get you? You're just bouncing everywhere. Get. Oh my gosh, I'm taking so much damage from this. Ow. Well, that was awful. Okay, well, this thing has just gotten a lot worse suddenly. Ah! No, not again. Not again. I hate this. Why? Oh, they just keep bouncing everywhere. No, not near my stuff. Not near my stuff. Oh, so I'm going to try to close off some of these parts of the gazebo to stop the guardians from bouncing around so much. Hopefully this works. <sighs> I'm not scared. Okay, maybe I am just a bit. Whatever. Let's just keep going. Ah! Ow, puffer fish. Oh, no, no, no. I'm being poisoned. 
poison by him. Come on, dude. But I also want to save you at the same time. No. Ah. No. Oh, okay. I think that one's gone. Well, I did manage to keep one alive. I just don't know if it's a good idea keeping him in here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Have fun, little guy. Hey, you're really cute when you're not puffed out. I've never seen that before. Aw, you're adorable. Ow! Ah! All right, I'm out of here. Why is everything so deadly here? <gasps> More diamonds. The diamonds will soothe my pain. <gasps> God, gotta save the little fishies. And there you go. I don't recommend going near that little guy. Not that I'm speaking from experience or anything. Who would be foolish enough to go near one of those? Ah! Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> Uh, hey, the walls are kind of working. Ow! Oh, no, no, no. No, you can't see me behind this. Nope. What do I do? Okay. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. No, no, no. This is fine. Just gonna get... Oh, no, he's floating down! My fish! My fish! No! Leave them alone! No! Oh, no. Oh, my stuff. My stuff. Ah! 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 No! Just get out of here. Leave my stuff alone. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna die again. Yep. You are the worst. No, get out of here. Okay, I'm, I'm done again. Yep, maybe maybe third time we can do this? Oh my gosh. Get out of here, bro. Ah! 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 Oh, get out of here. Oh no, I deserve this. Thank you for doing this to me. Yep, I really appreciate that. Out the puffer fish. The puffer fish has now gotten me too. That was a horrible idea. Yep, here we go. Can you just stop? No. There we go. Got him. Got him. He's, he's done. He's done. Oh my gosh, that was awful. Ow! Ow, I'm just trying to get my stuff. I got all my stuff, and that was terrible. I'm going to bed for the night. This is definitely the worst one. Oh, dolphins. No, no, go there. Go that way. No. Oh, you're swimming. You're swimming. Good. Go. No, you. Please. Please don't. No! No, go this way. Why? Why are you jumping on land? The river is right there. You were in it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. Yes, there, there. Come on. No, no, no. Okay, listen, I don't see you trying to help, okay? This block is just pain and suffering. <gasps> More turtles. Go. I trust you. You can do this. Finally. A moment of joy. Dang, you really are slow. Get! Oh my gosh, you're so slow. There we go. A little turtle sanctuary. This is the first moment of peace I've had in so long. I honestly forgot what it felt like for a moment. Ooh, sea pickles. You know what? We're gonna start decorating this place. We're gonna put that right here and these right there. And also let's get some kelp growing because that might be useful for us later. I'm really hoping we're almost at the end of this phase. No, 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 please no. No, I'm not ready for this. Not again. No, no, don't go to my pond. No, no, this is the worst one. All right, yep. Oh, amazing. Can't even go over here without dying. You're ruining my cute pond. No, get... Ah, <laughs> finally. Well, at least I got my baked potatoes back. But nearly all of my fish are dead. So, thanks. Looks like I'm just gonna have to repair this again. Get some milk for this mining fatigue. And let's keep going. Honestly, at this point, I've seen worse. Not afraid of you, buddy. Oh, not again. You know what? I'm actually holding my own right now. I think I'm getting the hang of this. <gasps> I did it! With no casualties. I needed that win. <gasps> Does this mean we're near the end of the level? Oh, I really hope so. <gasps> we got a trident! I mean, I can't use this too much because I don't want it to wear down really quickly until we get mending on it, but... Swag. All right, that's it. We made it through the ocean phase. The jungle dungeon? Hidden by ancient trees and covered in vines lies a dungeon. Well, that sounds worse. Well, my chests are a mess, my gazebo is ruined, and I died too many times to count today. But I did get this really cool trident. Either way, I think I'm gonna go hide in this barn far away from this block for now. See you in the next one.
Welcome back to One Block Skyblock. We've successfully made it out of the ocean phase and are now onto the jungle phase. And by successful, I mean it was an absolute disaster. Although after that whole debacle, I think it's finally time to admit to myself that I need some armor. Maybe fighting elder guardians in some jeans and a long sleeve shirt wasn't the best idea, but hey, at least I looked cool. So we really only have iron at the moment to make our armor with. Oh my gosh. This inventory is a nightmare. Uh, iron. Ah, here we go. Anything else in here? Ooh, nice. Pop those in real quick. Yoink. And that will get us a cool hat, a fresh pair of shoes, and a fancy new shirt. We didn't have enough for a pair of pants, but these jeans will do for now. It's fine. They're a rugged pair. Before we get into breaking this block, I think it's time to address this inventory situation. It's not looking great. My plan is to move this farmland onto an island closer to the trees and use this space for storage. I'm going to want to maintain easy access to my inventory, so I think it would be a good idea to keep it all close. And we have a steady supply of spruce now so I can finally swap out this birch trim. See you later, I won't miss you. That was purely aesthetic, but I say it was worth it. So now we just need a border around the edge to keep us safe. Toss some leaves in for some decoration, pop some stairs down to get a nice curve around the edges, and finally add a couple finishing details to the entryway. And this looks like the perfect amount of space for our storage. So let's just pop down some barrels and chests. There, I think that is more than enough room for now. And now it's time for the worst part, organizing. <sighs> it's gotta be done. There! This is looking so much better. Everything's now organized in its own chest, which will make things a lot easier for us to find. And I also made a cute little workstation right here, although I did leave one over by the block as well because I figured we would need it. Now we have one spot left along this wall, and I was kind of thinking, maybe it's time to upgrade our sleeping situation. He kind of has a tendency to play Blockdown's videos at full volume while I'm trying to sleep, and it's getting kind of irritating. So let's make ourselves a nice little bed frame, and let's shear you, and you, and and how about you as well? Um, hi? Anyway, let's make ourselves some nice plush carpet. Finish up the rest of the bed frame. And now we finally have ourselves a proper bed to sleep in. Yep, this feels like a good upgrade to me. So now the only thing really left to do before breaking that block is put back the farmland we got rid of. And we'll just decorate the edges a bit, replant all of our crops, and we've got ourselves some cute little farmland. So yeah, now that we're done our base maintenance, I think you all know what time it is. Oh geez. What do you have in store for me this time? Okay, wait, before we do anything, I'm gonna get rid of this river so we don't have mobs flowing all the way down into that pond again. Although we're still gonna keep some of it intact because I think it looks cute. Aw, look at this cute and relaxing area where you can sit and contemplate all the amazing things this block surprises you with. Okay, I'm done coping. Let's just break into this thing. <laughs> it's fine. It's just a jungle biome. What could be so scary about that? We'll get some cute pandas, maybe some parrots, a little bit of bamboo. That'll be great. And look, we got some mossy cobble out of it. I'm far too excited about that. Ah! Nah, I'm just messing with you. It's just some parrots. I do need some seeds though. Just grab some of these, we'll replant them later. Hey. You, you want seeds? Don't take them all. Okay, a little bit greedy, a little bit greedy now. <gasps> yes, we got a parrot. You, we're gonna have to worry about later because I need my crops to grow first. Clearly I'm really bad at naming things. So let me know in the comments what you think I should name our new friend. Well, what a success this has been so far. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh no. Nope, nope, nope. I've never even fought one of these in my life before. This is awful. Oh, come on. Get over here. How do I hit you? Stop it. Ow. Where'd they go? Honestly, they're kind of just flying around doing their thing. But I should probably get rid of them. Come back here, you little menace. Come on. Oh my gosh, I got it. Yes. You're next, buddy. <laughs> oh, I don't know if he's interested in even coming back. I think he's just kind of enjoying it, to be honest. Hello? I think he's legitimately gone. Well, I think he just wanted to be one with the endless sky. Be free, my friend. Be free. Well, that gives me one less thing to worry about. Ocelot? Yo, awesome. Lot. That sounded better in my head. Oh, 
Oh, a stinky chest. Oh, smells like stobbles. Ooh, more saplings. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, redstone. I don't think we've gotten this yet. Which reminds me, I know it doesn't require redstone, but I need to make a mob farm soon. I know I've been slacking. We'll get to it eventually. Won't we, unnamed bird number one? Oh, a panda! Oh, I sadly don't have any bamboo for you yet or a proper spot. So we're just gonna just nudge you over here for now. And you know what? I'm gonna name you Kenneth. Oh, hello. Okay, that was a little uncalled for. Bye. Ow, 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 ow. Yep, okay, mm-hmm, okay. Am I gonna die or... Oh, oh, half a heart. Swike, hey, what are you doing over here? You're not into any shenanigans, are you? Just making friends? That's what I like to see. What is that? Odd chest. We got some nether items from this. <gasps> and a mule spawn egg. Funny enough, I found some leads in my inventory when I was organizing it. I have no idea how they got there, but hey, we could use them for the mule. We'll just boop. And of course, his name is Michael. If you know, you know. Come here, Michael. Let's bring you over with the other animals. Hey, Kenneth, I'm sorry. Off limits to you. Because I actually don't know if you're going to eat the other animals. So, sorry. Come on, Michael. Jeez, oh, there we go. All right, Michael, you stay put right here. So many new friends. I love it here. Okay, a horse. Cool. I'm so thankful I had these mysterious leads laying around. And you can hang out with Michael. Trust me, he's a cool dude. No, Kenneth, you're not allowed in here. Stop asking. <gasps> ah! No, not again. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Bye. Jeez, I'm really holding my own today. And more parrots. Go along, my friend. <gasps> Diamonds! I just realized that we have two in our chest, so that means we can make ourselves a diamond pick for whenever we need it. And we'll just stash it away for now. Oh, not again. Two this time, ow! Oh no. Are they just poisoning each other? I think they are. Sucks to suck. Okay, I think I, think I need to make a bow. Oh, please no. Oh, oh, safe again. Yeah, no, I'm not going near two of them, so let's just uh, do this. Wait, are they healing themselves? Oh no. All right, I'm going in. You're the worst. Ah! No. Ah! <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, I'm okay. Oh, no, I'm not. No, you've been poisoned too, no! Oh no, how do I fix that? How do I fix that? Oh, I am, I'm panicking now. No, did you just eat my parrot? Why did you do that? Excuse me, but you're so cute. I can't be mad at you guys. You were just trying to protect me. No more eating parrots though. Okay, there's only one witch left. Let's just take her out. Bye. Whew, I was really close. Okay, that was a lot and I need a moment to collect my thoughts. So I'm just gonna, I don't know, build a cute garden or something. I just planted some trees in this area and I think it's looking pretty cute. I am done with contemplation and I am now ready for chaos. <gasps> More diamonds, nice. Keep those stashed away. Fellas, good day. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, not another monster party. Okay, bring it on. Oh, you are running after me. Let's get rid of you first. See you later, stinky. All right, where are the Vex at? Ow! Please stop floating away from me. Nice. One more. Come on. Nice. Sorry, Spidey boy. You're next. And let's repair this up real quick. And oh, there is still another Vex just floating around in the abyss. You know what? It looks like he's having the time of his life. So we'll leave him. You know, I think that was the easiest one yet. Or we're just becoming so good at this game that everything is so easy now. Let's be real. It's probably not that. Let's go to bed. Also, I forgot that we got some cocoa beans. So let's put them on the tree right here so they can grow. And it's pretty clear that I'm running low on some food. So let's gather up some of this wheat. Replant your crops, people. And it's time to go breed some cows. Hi, Kenneth. Okay, let's feed these mushroom cows. And I believe if we shear one, 
<gasps> yes, it worked. It turned into a regular cow. Perfect. Let's just shear a couple while we're at it. Amazing. But unfortunately, we need some food. Hey, you took one of my steaks, you cheeky little bugger. Bye, Kenneth. Let's cook up some steak, get ourselves some bread, and we've got ourselves a meal. Delicious. Nah, we got this. <gasps> Parrot was killed by using witch magic? No, unnamed bird number one or two. I don't remember, because I think a dog also ate one. I don't know. Rip, little guy. Rip. On a brighter note, we have gotten a couple more diamonds, but I'm still sad. Okay, I'm not sad anymore. Got another diamond <gasps> and a chicken egg. Hi, Kenneth. Do you think we're gonna get a chicken out of this? Oh, I sure hope so. And... Oh! Thanks for nothing, variety chest. Another horse. The amount of animals you get in this game is just unruly. Here, go hang out with Michael and the other horse. Bye, Kenneth. Ah! Oh! Yo! Dude, that was awesome! Good job. Don't tell me you're stuck. All right, let me give you a hand here. There you go. Yes! Yeah, that's a good boy. Jungle saplings. Ooh, we finally got our first lapis, too. That will definitely come in handy when we start enchanting things. I definitely need to remind myself more often to step away from the block to gather some wheat so we can keep breeding the cows for food and leather. My food supply has definitely been lacking, but that's all on me. Or is it? You know what? I blame you, Kenneth. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't. Kenneth is adorable. All right, let's just break this block. Huh. <gasps> is this it? Are we done? <gasps> we finally got bamboo! Yes! That's what I've been looking for all along! I think this is the last chest. Yep, we're getting our upgrade. We've reached the Red Desert. You roam a hostile place of heat, dust, and death. Sounds pretty fun. Now, I know I said earlier that I really need to build a mob farm. And I was gonna build one towards the end of this episode. However, I did get the bamboo that I really wanted. So instead of building that really useful thing that will probably help us in this game, I'm gonna build a panda sanctuary for Kenneth. So let's make our point of entry right through here where the Richards are. Please watch your step while we are under construction. And I'd like this to go down at least a couple steps because I wanna connect it to this pond over here. So let's just place this water and carefully go down. That gives us one step. And let's do this one more time. Fill in this step. And that seems like a good path. And I threw in some gates to make sure no Richards get hurt. And now it's time to make another circle. Uh, so I think I made an egg instead of a circle, but that's okay. We'll roll with it. So let's start by filling the edge in with some stone, and then we'll fill in the ground with a mixture of cobble and dirt. Then we'll clean up the edges here with a couple of rock piles. And I think Kenneth would appreciate a nice little splash pad so he can cool off when he gets a little bit warm. Finally, let's add some finishing touches to the walls so it looks more like a rock formation. We'll toss in a couple of jungle trees. And I think this has really come together. Hang tight, Kenneth, we're almost done. It's time for the most important thing of all, the bamboo. And we'll grab these cocoa beans as well. Let's pop some cocoa beans on these trees, get some of this bamboo planted for Kenneth, and I think we're done. Oh, I love it, it's so cute, and I'm sure Kenneth is gonna love it as well. All right, it's time to go get our boy. Oh, Kenneth, look what I have. Can you go through doors? I don't think so. Let's just break some of this. Oh, Kenneth, there we go, you got it, you got it, buddy. Slow and steady wins the race, my boy. Okay, not that slow, come on. Right this way, sir. And look, your very own panda sanctuary. What do you think, buddy? Do you like it? I know, I know. I didn't have to, but you know what? I wanted to, because you're so dang cute. Do you want some bamboo? There you go. Yes. I think he's a happy guy. Well, I think today was a big success. We made some good expansions to our island, and most importantly, we made a bunch of new friends today. Although the desert phase sounds a little bit ominous, I'm feeling pretty optimistic. So I'll see you all in the next one.
Welcome back to One Block Sky Block. Word on the street is we have the coolest island in town because there's no one else around us. Today we are conquering the desert phase and I have no idea what's in store for us. But before we get into our block breaking, we have a very important task to complete, giving Kenneth some bamboo. Look at him munch away on it, it's so cute. Okay, but for real, we're gonna need to make that mob farm that I've been putting off for way too long now. And this thing is pretty tall, so we're gonna need quite a bit of wood for it, which means I need to get to chopping. All right, let's see how many spruce planks we get out of this. I think that should be a good amount to start with. We'll replant these in case we need more. And I think we're ready to build. All right, so we're gonna need a new spot for our structure. And I wanna keep this mob farm far away from the animals. So I'm thinking somewhere along here is perfect. Before we start on a new platform, this is our final bit of birch trim on our island and I simply cannot go on until I fix it. Ugh, oh, there, that's so much better. And now it's finally time to make this platform. And now we'll just decorate the edges with some planters and fencing. There, I think this platform will do just nicely. It's honestly been quite a while since I've made one of these, but from what I remember, they're fairly simple, which means on the infinite drift scale of chaos, I have a 78% chance of something going wrong instead of 92. I like those odds we're working with. Okay, so I think to start this thing off, we place some chests down with some hoppers on top. That way, any of the loot we get from the mobs funnels straight into the chests. And then we just put down some slabs for the mobs to land on. So now we just have to place a block here and we just need to build around this square and just break this one. And I I'm gonna put some water in here in case I fall down. We can also get rid of these edges to save on materials. And now we just build up 22 blocks. What a lovely view from up here. Hi Kenneth, hi Richards, hey Peter. Me and Peter had a falling out when I moved and it was kinda awkward. All right, let's get the rest of these walls filled in. Now we just need to make eight block long platforms from every side. So far so good on the wood supply. Next, we make a two block high wall around the edges. Oh my gosh. Looks like I've succeeded in creating a mob farm. Well, good thing I don't need to go down there for a while. Let's connect these pieces together into one big platform with a two block high wall around the edges. Oh, the sun is up, which is good because I need just a little bit more wood to get this done. Question is, is it safe to go down? I doubt it, but I also don't really have a choice, do I? Oh, okay, I'm just gonna have to go and make a run for the trees. <laughs> Oh jeez, oh my gosh, oh no. Okay, ah, ah, I don't know what to do. Okay, yep, they're all they're all just fighting each other and blowing things up, yep. You know what, I think I'm just gonna leave and let them figure things out amongst themselves. I did need a top up on food anyway. And hopefully while this cooks, all the mobs will have despawned. Feeling refreshed after this snack and I think we just gotta go over there. Okay, so you're telling me that avoiding my problems actually worked. Excellent. Before I head back up, we just need to grab a little bit more spruce so we can finish this thing off. And while we're still down here, let's build a platform around these chests so we can easily reach the mobs. There, that's a bit better. And we still have easy access to the chests. All right, let's finish this thing off. So now we're just gonna place some trap doors around these edges because these idiot mobs think they're full blocks and they walk right off of them. Catch me never falling for this trick. Next, I'm gonna fill in this roof with slab so it gets nice and dark in there and so mobs won't spawn on top. If you're wondering where my levels went, I may or may not have died falling off the spawner. Please don't judge me. All right, last but not least, I need to put some water down so all the mobs funnel down into the tunnel. See ya, suckers. Wait, what? Did I make this one block too long? Please hold. Time to break this final torch and seal things off. And hopefully this works. Well, there's only one way to find out. <gasps> yes, I think it's working. And it only requires one hit. This is awesome. So going forward, we have access to a good source of XP along with some valuable loot that will help us out. However, I feel like this structure is pretty ugly. So before we move on, let's try to make this thing a little bit nicer. Sorry, Kenneth, but I'm gonna need some of your bamboo. Okay, fine, you can have a bit, there you go. I just realized that I can make scaffolding with all of the string that I have now. Wow, amazing. Look at what a difference that made. It doesn't even look like the same spawner anymore. Incredible. All right, with that done, I think you all know what time it is. <sighs> it's just a block drift. It can't hurt you. 
Hello. I see you're not associated with the wandering trader man. This is very good for you. Follow me. We'll just get you over here. Smell you later. Ooh. Okay, okay. No! You took my diamond! No! You get back here! Hey, drop it. Here, take that. Hello? I don't think you understand how valuable that is. Or maybe you do. But I would like it back, please. Took my diamond. <laughs> how do I get it back from you, buddy? Gotta have something that he'll like. Uh, no sweet berries. But maybe rabbit hide will do. Hey, look. <gasps> rabbit hide. Do you want steak? Yes, I got it. It worked. Thank you, buddy. We're gonna keep this in here so it's nice and safe. Cheeky little buggers. Okay, was not expecting this. Patrick? I didn't even have to name you. Well, Patrick, I don't know where to put you. Okay, well, I guess you're just gonna go off on your own, find a job, and live your life. Cool, buddy. Patrick, what are you doing up there? Be careful. Well, he seems to kind of like it over here, so I'm gonna leave him in there for now. You can make friends with the dogs. I honestly was not expecting villagers, but I mean, this is really good for us because we're gonna be able to get some decent trades out of them. Oh! Stinky. Oh, are you all alone, buddy? Here, let me fix that for you. Oh, no, there's two of you. You're not really fighting me back, and I feel kind of bad. Hold on a second. One for you, and one for you. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I just feel compelled to keep them. Here, let me make it so you both face each other so you can keep chatting. Oh, you don't want to talk to him? All right, giving him the cold shoulder. I see how it is. A little rough, but not my business. Ah, okay, Carl. Actually, hold on a sec. I have a very special surprise for you. Take a seat in this comfy boat and I'll be back soon. All right, Carl, it's time for us to go. And we're here. May I suggest not moving the boat around too much? All right, see you later. Bye, Carl. Have fun out there. He's awfully quiet. Ooh, a little bit of cactus. I know exactly what to do with this. It's a little decoration. So cute. Ah, ow! Ow! You're doing a lot of damage! What the heck, dude? Oh, next time tell your friends to be nice to me, okay? Oh no, not one of these again. Okay, all right. Let's just get this over with. Y'all gonna do something or? Okay, I guess none of you are gonna do anything. Bye. Well, I think that was the easiest monster party I've ever done. Plus I got these sweet pants out of it. Oh. <gasps> we got sugar cane, finally. And I have the perfect spot for it. Let's leave it over here for now. Marcel, I'm leaving you to be the guardian of the sugar cane, okay? Make sure you keep it safe. Its fate is in his hands. <gasps> yes, we got another one. Scott, Scott, stop it. It's okay. It's okay, Scott. Okay, Scott's running. Scott, I don't think it's too safe letting Scott wander around here, so I'm gonna go grab a boat for him. Hey, how'd you get out? Okay, I think we might need two boats. Scott, get in the boat. We're just gonna put you in this dog pen for now. Patrick, I'm sorry, dude, but your days of living on this barrel are over. Get on the boat. Yes, we're going for a ride. So now that I have Scott and Patrick, I could create a villager breeder if I want to. And I think we need to prioritize keeping these two alive right now, which means I think we're gonna have to build a nice home for them to live in. Ah, uh, yes, time to work with villagers. Nothing ever goes wrong. So I wanna start by creating some paths that will connect some of our circles together to make it easier to walk around our base. Next, I'm gonna make a big old circle that our villagers can live on. And now we just have to line the edges with more fencing and planters to avoid catastrophe. Hey, Carl. There, we have tons of space for our villagers to live in. And since I wanna make sure they're as safe as possible, I think we have to build a house for them. So let's start by building up our beams and filling in the walls with some birch and sandstone. Next, we'll build up the frame of the roof and fill it in with a mixture of red sandstone and orange terracotta. And finally, we'll just pop in a window and door. We'll throw up a couple of chimneys. And of course, we can't forget the leaves. There, I think this area is gonna be perfect for our villagers. I mean, my bed's still outside, so I would consider this pretty luxurious. Now the inside might be a little bit small, but it's enough space for two villagers, and we gave them a little bit of storage and a cute little cactus. So I think it's time for us to bring our villagers into their new home. All right, Patrick, you're up first. 
And we'll just leave you here for a second, and I'll be back soon. All right, Scoot, it's your turn. There you go, buddy. Now I'm like 99% sure they can't open these gates. However, I don't want to risk anything, so I'm going to replace them with fencing and put some carpet over top so only I can get in and out. Better safe than sorry. All right, now that we're good with that, let's break their boats. Look at that. They love it here. And before we move on, I might as well fetch them some carrots to begin the process of breeding. Patrick, here you go. All right, enjoy. See you later. Now, we don't really need anything from the villagers just yet, but at least we have them safe in this area for when we do. All right, now that that's done, we can go back to breaking this block. What is that slightly ominous sound? Odd chest. Ooh, some more flowers. Ooh, and a parrot spawn egg. Parrot, you can keep Kenneth some company. Best friends forever. Speaking of best friends, it looks like you two have finally reconciled and you have some new buddies too. That's nice. Oh, hiya, Owen. You hang tight. I'm gonna go get you a boat. Huh? That's so weird. He just disappeared. Oh, well. Ooh, we got some slime balls. All right, let's tuck these away for safekeeping because they could be useful for redstone or for potions. You never know. Yep, that sure smells. Okay, not bad. We can always use this stuff. Even if it has a funny scent to it because of the chest, it's fine. This is it. I think we're at the end of it. What do we get? Ooh, a bunch of XP, some emeralds, cobwebs, and some saplings. Not bad. All right, time to break this and move on to the next phase. Oh, the nether. Cool. Well, I'm done for. I'm not gonna lie. Knowing we have to face the nether is a little bit daunting because, well, fire and stuff. And I think this means we now have our work cut out for us. But luckily we had a bit of a break with the desert phase, which allowed us to set ourselves up nicely for what's to come. So with that, I'll see you in the next one. Welcome back to One Block Skyblock. I sense that we're gonna have a very eventful day today and hot, probably very hot. Today we are conquering the nether phase, a place in which I am notoriously bad at navigating because all the mobs send me into a panic. So this should be fun. Our island has gotten some big upgrades recently and it's looking great. However, in terms of nether safety, I don't think it's quite up to code. The nether means fire and fire means, well, my island is made of wood. So I think we need to begin things by upgrading the area around the block to something more fire resistant. And I think some cobble and stone slabs will do nicely. And I have to make sure I save some of my cobble. So let's do some red sandstone trim around the edges. And to expand this a little bit further and to make it look cooler, let's add some regular sandstone as well. There, I think that should be enough space covered, or so I hope. Plus, this design looks pretty cool. And I couldn't fill this space in over here because these guys won't move, so I think we're stuck with this hole forever. So now that the floor is mostly fireproof, we need to change the structure so gas and other mobs can't escape from it. The last thing we need is a gas flying around this island and setting everything on fire. That would be pretty awful. So this structure is basically a 7x7 seven seven square made of cobble with a smaller square shape set on top. And if I actually made this thing right, apparently the structure will trap the gas so they're unable to escape and fly around causing chaos. I sure hope this works. And the last thing I'm going to do is line this thing with some stone walls so the other pesky mobs from the nether can escape. Listen, I'm gonna take every precaution that I can here. All right, this thing is done, and if I did it correctly, it should protect us well against the nether. That still doesn't make me feel any better about this, though. Okay, before we start tearing into this netherrack, I do want to pay a visit to my villagers and get them set up with some professions. All right, you, I know you love this barrel, but here, take this. Oh, don't actually take it. Where'd it go? What? Oh, there it is. Anyway, here's your new job. Come on, take the job. Patrick, do you really want to be a stinky fish boy forever? Trust me, sticks are so much cooler. <gasps> yes, it worked. I knew he would cave to the peer pressure. So we can trade our sticks with Patrick to get emeralds. And then you, Scott, you can be our weaponsmith. W what do you do? talking about scott scott where are you going scott scott that was very rude of you scott trade me your weapon 
minutes. There we go, Scott, you're the best. Mwah. Okay, sweet. Let's lock in this trade with an iron axe. So the more we trade with Scott, the more items that we're gonna unlock here. So hopefully if we level him up enough, we'll eventually get some diamond weapons and tools out of him. And since we're close, let's grab some carrots so we can feed the villagers. And hopefully if we feed them, they'll breed soon and give us another villager. There you go, Patrick. Take those carrots, courtesy of Drift Farms. Scott, you can have some carrots too. There you go. <gasps> Is there going to be a villager, baby? Oh wait, there might not be, there might not be. I need to get another bed. Hold on, give me your wool. Thank you. All right, there's no room in the house, so let's just put them like, I don't know, right here. All right, now they just kind of seem to be both busy with their jobs. Right, I get it, I get it, life is busy, it's fine. I'll just step away from there and I'll come back later. But in the meantime, let's chop down some more trees so we can get some more emeralds from stick trades and then level up our weaponsmith. All right, Patrick, I've got your favorite thing in the world. Yes, he's leveling up, which means we can get a couple more trades out of him. Thank you so much, Patrick. And I'm gonna take all of Scott's iron axes so we can level them up. Honestly, this isn't even bad because we're probably gonna use all of these to chop down trees and stuff anyway. Scott didn't quite level up from that, so we're gonna have to do a couple more rounds of trading, which means we need a lot more sticks. All right, let's get these traded. And Scott, I have some emeralds for you. You gonna level up, buddy? And we got a bell. Okay, not what we needed, but all right. I guess I'm gonna have to spend a little bit more time leveling these guys up so I can get the trades that I need. But hey, it's all gonna be worth it in the end, right? Well, two chests full of axes later and two baby villagers, and we still don't have our trade. That's okay, once those baby villagers grow up, we can also assign them jobs to make this whole process quicker. In the meantime, I have to keep grinding away at this. <gasps> so one of the baby villagers grew up and I turned him into a weaponsmith and look at this, swords. This looks good, okay, they're a little bit pricey, but here we go. Finally, something a little bit better, unlike you, Scott, giving me a bell and some emeralds for flint. Ugh. So he also grabbed us a toolsmith to trade with because we can level him up easy with these stone tools. And I think he might be the one to give us the enchanted picks, not the weaponsmith like I thought. I mean, it's in the name, toolsmith. So, and you may have noticed that I have so many villagers now that I spawned an iron golem and there's a cat that's been running around out here. So hopefully with a couple more trades, I'll get some better tools. Boy, was I ever wrong about that statement. All right, we did enough trading to level him up and <laughs> yep. We got a diamond hoe from him. You know what? It's fine. We'll probably need it someday. It's fine. So we may not have gotten the enchanted pick that I really wanted. However, we did get this iron sword, which does have fire aspect and sharpness on it. And you know what? That's gonna help us a lot in the nether. So despite not getting everything I wanted out of this villager trading, I think I'm pretty good with what we've gotten so far. Plus this means we already have a pretty decent setup for our villagers. So expanding upon it is gonna be a lot easier going forward. We are eventually gonna have to get a trader that does armor for us but for now you know what we'll just make ourselves a new fresh pair of pants we'll make ourselves a nice looking shield and i think we're ready for this block nothing's gonna go wrong trust me it's fine it's all good oh can't get me can't get me this is working quite well actually see ya dude well i'm happy i placed those walls there <gasps> is that ancient debris? No way. I've got to get my diamond pick for this. Yoink. And we'll just take this. Nice. <gasps> and we finally got some obsidian too. Maybe soon we'll actually be able to make an enchanting table. All right, let's get these two things tucked away safe and sound. Hmm, I'm kind of liking the nether so far. What? You've got to be kidding me. Well, I'm certainly not going to say no to some more ancient debris. This is turning out so well that I'm starting to feel a little suspicious of this. Eh, I'm not going to think too much about it. Ah! Bye. I think I need my gate back. There we go. That's much easier. Oh, what is this? Odd chest. We got a hogland spawn egg. Don't know why I would ever want to spawn one. And some fruit and flowers. I mean, that is kind of an odd chest for the nether, but it's also pretty lovely as well. Oh, ugh, this is the last thing I wanted to see. Ow. The fire aspect on this sword is actually helping me out though. Ow. Oh, they're the worst. Ow. Stop it. That was awful. Okay, maybe I am starting to get a little bit nervous. Ooh, shroom lights. These are one of my favorite lighting blocks, so this is a treat. Ah! Oh no, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I need my bow. I am crisping up right now. 
This is not good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit concerned having a bunch of wood stuff behind me, especially with the blaze throwing fire. So I think I'm just gonna build this temporary wall or something. Hopefully it'll block the rest of the base from fire. I don't know if this is actually gonna do anything, but at least it puts my mind at ease. Oh, hey you there, buddy. I think you need a warm place to live, don't you? Here, let's get you on this lead for now. Oh, look at the way he walks. He's so cute. All right, I don't have any lava just yet, but when I do, I promise I'll build you a suitable home. You just stay put here for now. Ugh, oh, hmm. Actually, you know what? They can't really go anywhere. <laughs> Too easy. Honestly, putting these walls up was a great idea. Ooh, another chest. Yes, we got some blaze powder. All right, we're gonna tuck this away to keep it safe because that's one component for our eyes of ender which will allow us to open up the end portal. Whoa! Oh no, ah, ah, oh, oh, this is not good, not good. Oh my gosh. Oh, is everything okay? Okay. All right, so the structure worked, but that still gave me a fright. I'm glad I put this wall here too, because I think that may have helped us and saved us from potential disaster here. Well, I stand corrected in saying that the nether wasn't so bad, because that, that was pretty scary. Yep, that was scary. Get out of here. Bye. More of you. Sorry, dudes. Get good. Dude, what you doing? Get out of there. Go on. There you go. Oh yeah, that stinks. That stinks bad. Stinky and disappointing. Although, getting the sugar cane reminds me that we should start harvesting this stuff. We are gonna need it to make books so we can enchant later. <gasps> Another one of you. All right, dude, you come over here. You two can hang out and get acquainted until I make a spot for you, okay? More ancient debris, let's go. Yoink. Oh my gosh, even more. Hey, I'm not complaining though. Ooh, another chest. <gasps> we finally got our lava bucket and some netherite scrap too. That's amazing. It's kind of too bad that I don't really have any good armor and tools to upgrade to netherite, but maybe we will soon. As much as I would love to give these guys a cute little nether home, we really need to use this lava bucket for a cobblestone generator. All right, I think I'm going to place this cobblestone generator close by so we have easy access to it. And I'm building it into the floor a bit so it doesn't stick out too much. I've never actually had to make one of these before, but the idea seems pretty simple. So I think I placed the water here where it can drop down right here. And then we have two blocks for the lava to flow right here. So then when I place the lava down in this corner right here, it'll meet the water and form cobblestone. Yay, it worked. So now I can just stand here for eternity and mine an infinite amount of cobblestone. Except I won't do that. But it is kind of relaxing. All right, let's just contain this thing to be safe. And then I think we're done. I did unfortunately lose out on a good spot to sit and contemplate things. But that's okay. That bench wasn't too comfortable anyway. All right, back to our most favorite thing in the world. Oh, how I've missed you. Whoa. I don't know where to put you, buddy. I don't even I don't even know if I have any more leads. Here, we'll figure out a spot for you later. There you go. <gasps> nope. No, what kind of monster party would this be? Oh no, no, no. Ah! Oh, oh, okay. It's not that bad. Oh no, it's bad. It's bad. Help me. Oh, get rid of that, please. I need a bow. No. Nope. Stay contained in the area, please. Can I just place here so I can get in? Yeah. Get out of here. Oh no, dude, are you okay? Actually, wait, you exist in the nether, so you're probably fine. Look at us surviving a nether monster party. No sweat. Oh no, not more blaze. Stop flying away so I can get you. No, don't fly around the island. No, come back here. Now I'm stuck in my own device. Get back here. Get, don't ruin my island. We did get a blaze rod though. No, no, everything's on fire. No, no. Oh no, no, oh, ah, this is bad. Oh geez, oh no, 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 ah, oh my island. Okay, I think we're safe from fire, but let's just patch this up for now. What are you looking at, huh? I'm not gonna lie, this block is starting to make me a little bit nervous now. Yo, we got some nether wart, awesome. That's gonna be really important for potion brewing. All right, we're gonna tuck that away to keep it safe and back to the block we go. Oh, not again. Come here, ow. Oh, there's two of you, no. Come on. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Ah! <laughs> no, my stuff. Oh, everything's on fire again, it's you. You're causing all of my problems. Ow, stop it. 
Oh, they're the worst. Oh, our tree is on fire. Oh no, everything's on fire again. Uh, uh, no, no, gotta stop the spread. Maybe having trees here wasn't the best idea now that I think about it. Okay, I think all the fire's gone. Yeah, I know I could have done a better job at fireproofing this place, okay? But I still wanted it to look nice. All right, Michael, quit judging. I just realized that I think I made a mistake on the design of this thing. I feel like this second floor is supposed to actually be closed off. So the gas should still get stuck in this structure, but I think this makes it also less likely that the blaze will escape too. Hopefully that solves our issue so our island stops burning to a crisp. Oh no. Okay, here's the test. Oh, okay, okay. All right, that seemed a bit better. Wow, absolutely genius idea that I definitely thought of a little bit too late. Just one of you, huh? Not scary. <gasps> we got a wither skeleton skull. Two more and we could fight the wither. Nah, I'm just kidding. Or am I? Infernal chest. Ooh, another wither skeleton skull. One more to go. Nah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't fight it here. Or would I? <gasps> We've reached the end of the nether. Okay, this is a pretty good gift. A bunch of netherite scrap. Oh, we got another lava bucket. We can make a home for you guys. All right, let's break this to see what comes next. The idol? A breeze of peace blows across the land. I genuinely don't know if this block is tricking me with that name and description. Well, good thing that's a problem for future us. So now that we're done with all the fire and monsters from the nether, I think I can restore this place back to how it was. We'll put a new tree here. And we'll plant a new one here too. I actually think I like this floor pattern, so we're gonna leave it. And I think I'm gonna leave this structure for now because I'm not exactly sure what's gonna come next. Better safe than sorry. But this block gave us some really valuable loot today. We got tons of netherite scrap and a bunch of obsidian. So let's burn up a little bit more of this ancient debris and make some more scrap. And also let's smelt some gold while we're at it. So if we combine these together, we get two pieces of netherite. That's incredible. I don't even have diamond armor yet. So since we don't really have a use for this, I'm gonna tuck it away for now, but maybe soon we can upgrade one of our pieces of armor or a tool. We also got a really large amount of obsidian, which means we can finally make an enchanting table and upgrade our tools and armor. And would you look at that? We now have enchanting. Or, well, soon enough, because we don't have any of the bookshelves yet. But hey, this is a really good start. So although today was a little bit terrifying, the nether gave us a ton of stuff to progress in this game. And if the block is really giving us some peace and quiet, that means next time we can really focus on building some good areas around our base. So with all of that, I'll see you all in the next episode. Welcome back to One Block Skyblock. Today we are in the, you know what? I don't even know what phase this is. It seems like we're getting a bit of a break from all this chaos, but I just don't know if I fully believe that. Either way, we made some big advancements last episode. We started villager trading, we collected some really important items for the dragon fight, and we got an enchanting table. So I'm kind of hoping today we can kick back and work on some projects around the base, as long as this block will let us. So the first thing I want to do is get our enchanting area set up, and I'm thinking the perfect spot would be near Near our XP farm. Enchanting tables require a lot of XP, so it's good to have the source close by. Jeez, I forgot how fun this thing is. Okay, enough distractions. We've got a lot of farm stuff going on in this direction, so I don't really want to expand this way. Excuse me. Michael, be careful. Jeez, we've got a little daredevil over there. So yeah, I'd rather leave this area to be kind of like the farmland. So I think I'm gonna expand off this way. Honestly, I can't stop myself from using this XP farm. It's too fun. All right, I'm gonna focus on the task at hand now. I promise. Let's start by building a new platform for our enchanting area. Now that we have unlimited access to cobble, I think I would like to do something a little bit different with the border of our platform and use a mix of cobblestone and leaves. The build I want to do is a little bit more fantasy style, so I think it would complement it well. Let's also grab some more oak and spruce because we can make some of the border out of old broken tree stumps. And now that I have a good amount of materials, I can start building up this border. There, 
I think that looks really cool. And I still have more than enough room to put an enchanting house down. Now before I get started on this house, I need to start collecting a crucial component for this. I have not been collecting the sugar cane, which we really, really need for the books. So we need to make sure we do that in between other tasks. And we do have a decent supply of leather, but I'm going to keep feeding these cows so we have a better supply. And while we're at it, I'm just going to keep replanting sugar cane in this area so we have more to harvest. And the last thing I need to collect for this enchanting house is some birch and a little bit more spruce. All right, I think I have everything I need, so let's start building this thing. So I'm gonna start by building an L-shaped structure out of strip, birch, and spruce. Next, I'm gonna throw up some beams, making the main structure one block taller than the side structure. So next, we gotta fill in the walls with some strip birch and some birch planks. Now for the roof, I think I'm gonna make it a little bit taller using some spruce logs in between the stairs so it feels more fantasy-like. I love how the shape of this is looking so far. My only concern is that I wanted to make the roof out of prismarine and warped wart blocks. And I don't know if I have enough. We might just have to get creative with some strategic leaf placement until we get more of these blocks. I think it'll be okay. I'm really loving the texture of the roof, but the one change I'm gonna make is lining up these spruce stairs with each other to make the build feel a little bit more cohesive. There, that's looking so much better. The build is starting to look really fantasy-like, but I think the final thing that will really make it feel like a cute enchanting house is a tower. And with some finishing details added, here is our enchanting house. I really love this build and how it turned out. Plus, I love the way it looks from other parts of the island. It really adds some nice character to this place and serves a really important function as well. Now, the only thing that we have left to do is put the enchanting table in. As you can see, this place is pretty bare right now on the inside. So let's harvest some more sugarcane, feed some more cows, and hopefully we can start getting a decent amount of books for this enchanting table. We also had a surprise book stashed away in here. Nice. All right, so we're starting off with three bookshelves. We are gonna need a lot more, but it's a decent start. And we can make a nice little spot right here to stash away all our items that we need for enchanting. There, this is so exciting that we finally have the beginnings of this setup. So in between harvesting all of the stuff that we need for this enchanting table, I figured we could start breaking into this block again. Now, from what I understand, this block promises to be a little bit more tame this time around. However, I simply just don't believe that, but we're never gonna know until we try. Ooh. Honey, this is one of my favorite building blocks. Okay, this is good. More lapis, nice. Is that a bee box? <gasps> it is, cool. Let's put that right here for now. This is nice, I like this. Diamond, amazing. So far, so good. Bees, there's a bee box right here for you guys. Uh-oh, uh, where'd he go? Oh no, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to get in the boat? You can't. Do I have any flowers I can put down for them? Oh, <gasps> I do. No, stop flying off into the void. Come back, I have flowers. Oh no, I think he might be a goner. All right, well, uh, where'd the other one go? Oh, I think I may have lost them already. Yep, they are both just flying around in the void. All right, well, I'm gonna leave these here in case they come back. Ah! Oh, angry bees, no! Ow, why? Oh no, what do I do? Oh, I did not expect this. Uh, uh. I think I might just have to, yup. I'm sorry. Okay, I think they're all gone. Oh, look. Oh, wait, no, he's angry too. Sorry, dude, but you gotta go too. I knew this block wasn't to be trusted. We did at least get a chest out of this whole debacle, so let's see what's in it. Ooh, a rare chest. We've got quick charge, a lingering potion of slow falling. That could be useful for our dragon fight. And lastly, we got some gold and golden apples. Maybe that was worth a killer bee attack after all. Don't tell the block I said that though. <gasps> Cats! Okay, don't go anywhere, buddy. I'm getting you fish. Um, dude, what happened to all my fish? They're gone? They didn't like it here? Why not? It's not like anything bad ever happens here. Okay, well, I'm grabbing this lead and we are protecting this cat at all costs. Come on. Yes! A Minecraft world isn't complete without a cat sanctuary. All right, buddy. You're going in here for now. You be good. Slime! Cool. Cool. Whoa, a skeleton horse. All right, buddy, I'm just gonna have to scoot you on out of here for now. Ah, oh, phantoms. No, dude, I need your membrane. Come back. Ah. Huh. Yes, I got it. This will be very useful for our potions later. Huh. 
Huh? I've never seen a zombie horse before. Well, I'm gonna have to make a cool spot for you and the skelly horse. Although the striders are still kind of waiting for their lava sanctuary. So you're in a little bit of a queue right now, buddy. <gasps> Friendly bees. Wait, I have flowers for you. Come here, look. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm gonna take this lead and you can go right here. Excuse me. Thank you. Where'd the other one go? Oh, there you are. You can go on this one, all right? And here's some flowers you can both enjoy. Yay, we've got bees. What? We get cake? Yo, this biome is awesome. And we'll keep this right here in case we ever need a snack. I could do this forever. No! Ah! Oh no, they're all mad at me now. We were having so much fun on this island and you ruined it. Oh wait, they're over it. Cool. <gasps> More cats. All right, buddy, I'm just gonna let you roam for now. Make good choices, okay? I'm honestly not sure I really need any of this stuff up anymore anyway. I'm feeling oddly confident in this moment, but I also might come to regret it. And I did. Oh no, I should not have done that. Ah, I've made bad choices. Uh-oh, why is it still going? Oh, I'm done for. Oh, this is not good. No. You, get over here. Oh, got him. You're next, buddy. Yes! We didn't get any membrane, though, so that kind of stinks. All right, I need a moment to breathe after that, which is also convenient because I need to harvest the sugar cane, too. And we also can't forget to feed our cows. We need to make sure we stay on top of these tasks for our enchanting table. Now that our chores are done, let's get back into it. Okay, I think I need to put these balls back. All these mobs keep coming in to see what's going on, and it's getting kind of distracting. I promise I'll build a home for you. I'm sorry. But for now, you guys gotta go, okay? Ugh, oh, there, that's better. <gasps> Musical chest. We got books. That's super helpful. And also a music disc that I will probably not use. Those three books brings us one bookshelf closer to having a full enchanting setup. Phantoms. No, stay here. Come on. Yes. Got him. Ah, no membrane though. Totally out of luck on that one. Stinky chest. Got some dead bushes, a saddle, and a gas tier. Well, we all know I'm putting this on the skelly horse. Obviously. I mean, why wouldn't I? Riding a skeleton horse is probably the coolest thing I could do in this game. Yeah, buddy. Look at me go. Dang, I look so swag. You know what? You're gonna go over by this enchanting room. Kind of fits in theme with a fantasy enchanting house anyway. Okay, bye. Enjoy. Ah! Ow! Oh my gosh. That was so quick. Sorry, but you guys have got to go. Not to be trusted. <gasps> we got a name tag. Nice. We'll have to save that. <gasps> I think we're at the end. All right, what is our gift? Another cake. Nice. Some hay bale. Oh, okay. Another saddle. That means I can I can put it on the zombie horse. That's pretty cool too. Beetroot seeds. All right, that's neat. I don't think we have those yet. And a name tag. I mean, it's not like the best chest we've ever gotten, but at the same time, the threats in this biome were very minimal, so I don't really know if we deserve that much of a reward. Either way, you know this saddle's going on the zombie horse because that's super cool. And we are also bringing him over to the enchanting area. You can hang out here with the skeleton horse, buddy. And since I have two name tags, I can name them both. So let me know in the comments what you think I should name them. All right, let's go back and break this block to see what biome is next. What's it gonna be? The desolate land. A barren land lays before you. Is this the end? I think it might be. That means there's gonna be a lot of challenges ahead of us, but that's a problem for future me. However, if there's gonna be a lot more surprises coming at us, I think we need to get that enchanting table fully set up. Sorry, fellas, I gotta do it. I forgot I have fire aspect on my sword, so we automatically get cook state. Very ideal. And with all of the paper and leather combined, we get 12 books. And that gives us a total of five bookshelves. That brings us to a total of eight bookshelves for our setup and we need 15. So we're not quite there yet, but we're getting there. Now in between collecting the rest of the stuff for our bookshelves, I figured we could finally give our striders a proper home. Currently these guys are huddling around my cobblestone generator for warmth and I'm feeling pretty bad about it. So let's fix them up a nice place to live. Now we need to include lava in this for the striders. So this thing obviously has to be fire resistant. And I want to try my best to make this place feel like home to them. So I feel like nether blocks are the best bet. And we still have tons of places to branch off from the animal pen. So let's do that. 
What is a death trap for some mobs is a perfect home for others. Now, last but not least, we need a little lava area for our striders to keep warm. Unfortunately, I only have one lava bucket, so this is the only space we can fill right now. But hopefully this is cozy enough for them. Now let's bring our friends to their new home. And here you go, buddy. I made you a little lava pit. Do you like it? Yeah, you look nice and toasty now. All right, let's get the other two. Right this way to your new home. And last but not least, we gotta grab this toasty guy who's been basking in this lava over here. There, they love it in here. Look at that. I wish I had more lava so they would have a little bit of a bigger space to keep warm, but I think this will do. So now that the Strider Sanctuary is done, I think it's time for me to grind away on getting the rest of these bookshelves for our enchanting table. I just had the most brilliant idea. Why didn't I think of this before? I can just make a villager librarian and trade emeralds for bookshelves. It's brilliant, I tell you. Brilliant. While I was also making some more books, I realized we had a bunch of emeralds stashed away that the mysterious block gave us during this phase. Okay, okay, we can make a couple more trades. Plus, I have these spare books. I think we only need two more bookshelves. Oh, Mr. Librarian. Yes! I think this is enough. So we have eight for our table already. So let's go ahead and place our new ones. So with all of these in place, we have a full enchantment set up. All right, let's make our diamond pick our first enchanted item. Yo, unbreaking efficiency and fortune? We got really lucky with that enchantment. I wish I had done this sooner because fortune would have been so useful for some of the items we were getting with the block. All right, I'm gonna bring my levels back up to 30 so maybe we could start making some enchanted diamond armor as well. So let's maybe start with a chest plate and we can either go boots or helmet and I think I'm gonna go with boots. All right, what's it gonna be? Fire protection. We might have to take that enchantment off and try again. Back to the mob spawner for some more levels. And let's try our luck with these boots. Blast protection. Not exactly the enchantments I was looking for, but we finally have our first few pieces of enchanted diamond armor. We made some really big progress today. And now that we have our enchanting table, I'm feeling even more prepared for whatever comes next. So whatever's in the end phase, I'm confident we can conquer it. Thanks so much everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome back to One Block Skyblock. Today is the day that we face the end. Are you all ready for this? I think I am. Well, almost. There's definitely a couple more things we need before we fight the dragon, but overall, I think we've got this. Now we still need to make some big upgrades on some of our armor and tools. And I know villager trading is a really good way to get some of the things that we need. However, I am far too impatient for it. I did manage to get a weaponsmith who will give us a diamond ax, so that's good. I've only got five emeralds right now, but if we cut down a couple of trees and trade some sticks with some Fletchers, we'll have more than enough for that axe. We'll trade a bit with you, and a bit with you, and with 37 emeralds, we have more than enough to purchase this. Thank you very much, Scott. So that's one less tool to worry about, but I'm also feeling really confident that the mysterious block will give us diamonds to further upgrade the rest of our gear. The only other thing I wanna get is a villager who will trade mending so we don't break any of our tools. And it looks like this villager is willing to become a librarian. Perfect. Just gonna close you in with these leaves so you can't run away while we're rolling for mending. Oh geez, I leave for one second and the whole gang's here. All right, let's start rolling for this trade anyway. We got it! Oh my gosh, it's so expensive though! I feel like I could get it cheaper. All right, I'm gonna keep rolling. <gasps> 12! Yes, it was definitely worth trying for a cheaper price. All right, I'm gonna buy one to lock in the trade and let's go put this on one of our tools, which means it's also finally time for us to make an anvil. Now, I think we may have collected enough iron for this. Oof, maybe not. Well, there's always... We got an anvil. So now that we have an anvil, we can put mending on one of our tools. And I think I'm gonna go with the diamond pickaxe first, especially because this thing has fortune three and efficiency. We really wanna make sure this thing doesn't break while we're tearing through our block. And I'm gonna name this thing picky. And speaking of naming things, in the last episode, I asked you all what we should name our skeleton and zombie horse. And you all gave me such great suggestions in the comments. And the names that have been chosen are Harold and Zoe. Thank you so much to Adam and Syl for those suggestions. All right, we've got Harold the zombie horse and Zoe the skeleton horse. These names suit them perfectly. And while we're over here, we might as well begin repairing our diamond pick with some XP since it has mending on it now. 
And would you look at that? A fully healed up diamond pick. I think with that done, we're ready to break into this block again. I'm feeling oddly confident today. All right, there's nothing left to do but rip into this thing. Ah! I hate bugs. Well, I guess it's official that we're in the stronghold. Ah, no, not creepers again. Safe distance. Safe distance. Oh, looks like he couldn't handle the heat. Toasty creepers. Ooh, what is this? A creeper spawn egg. Yeah, exactly what I would want. 100%. <gasps> more diamond. Well, we have fortune on our pickaxe now, so hopefully we'll get more than one. Four? Nice. This really did work out. Ah! Oh, oh my gosh. What is that? I think they're all fighting each other. <laughs> Honestly, this is free entertainment. Okay, there's one left. I can take him. Come here. Nice. Wow, I'm so good and fearless at this game. <gasps> we got more phantom membrane. That's perfect because we need it for potions. Oh, no, that's a charged creeper. This is definitely a job for a bow. Not going near that thing, that's for sure. So far, this block is a little bit more dangerous than I anticipated. I think I got too comfortable in the last phase. <gasps> more diamond! Yo, we got another four! <laughs> we are gonna have more than enough to upgrade all of our tools and armor. The risk is definitely worth the reward. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. I gotta get rid of you first, don't I? Oh, no. No, not again. Thought we were done with each other. Why can't I hit you? Come over here, you coward. Ah! No! Ow! Ow, stop it! I'm being bullied by them. Yep, I saw that one coming. <gasps> oh, I got a totem. Nice. Okay, enough. I'm taking them down. And the other two obviously flew away because they saw how tough I was. So we don't have to worry about them anymore. What is this? Yep, an odd chest indeed. Oh no, not you again. You know, I think I'm just gonna spruce up the area around this block a bit. Oh, whoops. Oh no, I guess he didn't watch his step. <gasps> we got efficiency three. Gold, lingering potion of luck, and a creeper head. Cool. Not more spiders. Oh no, something broke. All right, my helmet broke, so I think it's time for us to upgrade to diamond. One more upgrade and we've got full diamond armor. Oh, no, 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 no. No, not Vex again. Come on. Oh, this is a bad one. Oh, I'm just trying to focus on getting rid of him. Okay, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm scared. Ah! <laughs> not again. Yep. That one just flew into this structure and died. <laughs> They're kind of just taking themselves out at this point. Nice try. Well, I'm glad I left this structure in place because I was honestly going to tear it down. But this has given us some good distance from some of the mobs. <gasps> no! I need those diamonds! Let me get them. I'm going in to rescue them. All right, with more diamonds, I think this means I can finally make my pants. Yes, the perfect amount. And we now have full diamond armor. Look at us go. Just ignore the arrows all over me. No, no, there's two. Oh, what is that? This is a nightmare. Okay, I got them both. Oh no, can I use this? No, oh, too late. I'm just gonna keep this totem on me. All right, bring it on. Well, clearly they brought it. All right, enough shenanigans. Let's get through this phase once and for all. I think we did it. All right, what's the gift this time? Yes, more phantom membrane. Some more XP, lapis and gunpowder. Not bad. So if we break this, I think we reached the end. Let's see what happens. The end. Ancient powers rise as the dark void collides with your world. Are we ready for this? Not quite, but we are gonna do some things right now to prepare us for this. Let's go ahead and grab these bottles of enchanting because we need to get as many levels as we can to upgrade our gear. Well, that clearly wasn't enough. Good thing we have our mob farm. All right, so we're at 35 levels so far. We are gonna need more, but in the meantime, let's start cutting down some of these trees to get sticks to trade with Fletchers because we're gonna need a couple of mending books for our armor. And we also have some emeralds stashed away in here from the block. So let's trade up some more sticks. And now let's buy some books. Ugh, we only had enough for three, but we need four for our armor. Back to the trees we go. 
All right, one more trade and we should be good. All right, let's buy this last book. Thank you very much. So we have all four mending books that we need for our armor. Now all we have to do is get good enchantments on our gear so we can add mending to it. And might as well swipe this while we're at it. Get some more levels. All right, let's try to enchant our helmet first. Uh, fire protection and I'm breaking three. It's not the best, but for the helmet, I'll take it. Next up is the pants. Protection three and I'm breaking three. You know what? I'll take that too. So we're gonna need a grindstone to disenchant the armor that we're not happy with. So let's head back to this part of our base so we can attach mending to the armor we like and disenchant the others. Let's get mending on this guy and on our pants. Nice. And finally, let's make our grindstone. And I'm gonna disenchant the diamond chest plate and the boots. Now let's get our levels back up and try again with these enchantments. All right, I'm gonna try my luck with 41 levels and hopefully we get what we need. Protection three, not bad, not bad. And for the boots, just unbreaking three, not great. Now I think I'm gonna stick with the protection on the chest plate and just go without having unbreaking three on it. We do have mending, so at least it will still repair itself. But I think I'm gonna try one more time with the boots and then let's throw mending on this chest plate. All right, let's go give these boots another shot. Come on. Protection three and unbreaking three. You know what, that's perfect. All right, let's get mending on these boots, put them back on, and we're good to go with our armor. Now we don't have the best enchantments in the game. Like I would have loved to have feather falling on the boots, maybe protection three on the helmet as well, but all things considered, we did pretty well with this armor. So let's get it all healed up and I think we're ready to move on with this block. Perfect, fully healed up diamond armor. Now I think the last two things that we're really gonna need to fight the dragon properly is a good sword and a good bow. So let's craft ourselves up a diamond sword and let's see what we get. Knock back. Now no thanks. Let's try our luck with the bow instead. <gasps> Infinity and power three. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Now that we've used our enchanting table for the bow, we might get a different enchantment for our sword. Dang. Sharpness, unbreaking, and fire aspect. Not bad. The only thing I'm going to do now is throw mending on the sword and we're good to go. And we'll name it Sharpie. In terms of gear and stuff, we're pretty much set and ready to go. I'm feeling a lot better now that we have full diamond armor, a good sword, and most importantly, a good bow as well. Now the only thing we have left to do to fight the dragon is break into this block. I think I'm ready, or at least I hope. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, our first chest. Dragon's breath, nice. Enderman, let's make a boat to put him in so he doesn't fly around the map while we try to hit him. All right, my dude, get in the boat because we need your eyeballs. Did we get any? No. Aw. Okay, we got another one. Nothing? Ugh. Ooh, a chest. Yo, ender pearls. That's exactly what we were looking for. All right, we're going to tuck these away right next to our blaze powder because we're going to have to combine those two together later. What is that? Huh? What the heck? A shulker? Cool. Aw, no shells. <gasps> a wandering trader spawn egg? This is so valuable. Finally, I can do this. All right, shulker, where are you hiding? Ooh, got him. And we got a shell out of it. Nice. Yo, an eye of ender? That makes things so much easier for us. So we have three in total so far. That's not too bad. And hopefully when that portal spawns in, it'll already have some in it for us. No! No, 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 no! Ah! Oh, shoot. Oh, no, no, no. Not the shulkers. Not the shulkers. Gotta get rid of them first. Uh-oh. I am floating. This is very awkward. Okay, we're good. Sorry. Oh, no! <laughs> They're all falling down! So with that monster party fiasco out of the way, we now have a total of 10 eyes. We're doing pretty good. Wait a second. Peter, what? This thing isn't even broken though. How are you over there? Huh? He's an escape artist. Whoa, the end is near. This is it. <gasps> There's the portal underneath. And we also got another gift. Ooh, more ender pearls in an eye. That's really helpful. And we got a couple other goodies. All right, let's break this. And I'm guessing the block will just upgrade to a random assortment now that all the phases are complete. So the portal already has eight eyes in it, which means we only have to put four in to access the end. And we have more than enough. The block is almost done upgrading. Let's see what we get. Oh, oh no. Oh, buddy, no. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, 
no, yep. I only made things worse. Okay, so we reached the after phases. The infinite block pulsates with strange energy, which means this thing will just keep going infinitely. Okay, so now that the end portal is here, we have a job to do. Before we put any eyes in this portal, I want to build a nice little platform and a staircase that will give us easy access to it. And while we're at it, since I think we're done with hostile mobs spawning from this block, I think we can take this structure down. And last but not least, I'm going to swap this cobblestone for some end blocks to go on theme with what's going on right now. I'm not going to lie, it feels a little empty in here now, but I have some good ideas for what we can put here after we fight the dragon. So we have all the gear we need for this fight, but we still need some potions of slow falling and some golden apples would be good as well. So let's make ourselves a brewing stand really quick. We'll grab some nether wart, some phantom membrane, and some redstone to increase the time of the potion. And now let's brew a bunch up. Perfect. Now I have some extra nether wart, so we might as well make a couple more batches just in case. There, nine potions of slow falling. And the last thing I'm gonna make is a bunch of golden apples and golden carrots for us. So in total, we have 11 golden apples and 10 golden carrots. I think that is more than enough. And lastly, I think we could do with a little bit of extra steak. So with all of this stuff in our kit, I think we're ready to do this. I think it's time to place these into the portal. This is it. Are you all ready? I think I am. Let's go. Okay, it looks like we're really close to land. That's good. <gasps> I can hear her. There she is. All right, let's get rid of these crystals. And here we go. Yes. Come on. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna have to pill her up. Oh yeah, this'll be way easier. Nice. Wait, did I hit that? What? All right, let's bridge over to the ones caged up. Yes! Two more and that's it. Oh no, oh no. Oh, this is close. Drink a potion just in case. And let's just, boom! Now I think the last one is right here. Can I hit it from here? We got it! Okay, perfect. We got this, we got this. Let's get her. Oh no! We're over halfway! She's almost down! Yes! It's done! We did it! Bye! Dang, we really held our own there. Let's go. All right, let's grab this egg. Where'd it go? There you are. And boop, yoink. We beat the dragon on one block sky block. All right, we grabbed the dragon egg and I think that's all we really need from here. So let's head on back through this portal. All right, here we are back at our base. It's still wild to think that we started on this island with nothing but this block, and now we beat the dragon. I'm so proud of everything we achieved. And to honor how far we've come, I wanna do something special with this dragon egg. I've been thinking, since this infinite block won't really be used anymore, I think we should place the egg on the spot where it all began. There, I think a spot like this to display the egg is perfect. And now we just need a stand for it. And let's finally put the egg right on top. There, I think that's perfect. Okay, the llama just walking all over that egg. The disrespect. All right, I think the shrine to our dragon egg is done. I think this is the perfect thing to honor the achievement that we made with this island. I think it looks pretty good. Building up this island has been such an incredible journey. We started with literally nothing and ended up with a really cute and cozy island. It always feels sad saying goodbye to something, but I'm really proud of everything we accomplished and I had so much fun with this. Thank you all again so much for watching this series. This was such a fun challenge and I really hope you all enjoyed our journey together. And with that, I'll catch you all in the next adventure.